Hello folks, today we're going to be taking a look at how to get BeamNG Drive, that's right, the beautiful car simulator game on a Mac computer. Okay, so first things first, I am using a MacBook Pro 2021 Apple M1 Pro chip, 16 gigabytes of RAM computer. So this computer isn't ideal for running BeamNG. Like they say that the, re that the recommended amount is 32 gigabytes of RAM, rapid access memory, but it still does work. I initially learned how to do this by watching this video by David Nark, I'm probably mispronouncing, David Nark, I'm probably pis mispronouncing your name, but either way, very helpful video. Uh, I'll have a link to it in the description. And he did a similar thing. He downloaded and got BeamNG on Mac, except he had a different computer. His was a pre-M1 chip computer. So mine is M1 chip. So I'll be showing you kind of the performance of that. The first thing you'll need to do is go to codeweavers.com. Once you're at that website, you'll be able to download Crossover. And because you'll need to get this application or a similar one to run BeamNG on this on a Mac computer because it doesn't natively run on Mac. It's meant for Windows. So unfortunately, you do have to get this. You can get the Crossover free 14-day trial and just try it out and that doesn't cost you anything or you can buy it for $74. So that's up to you. And I believe that's for every year, so you'll have to pay $74. So it's up to you if that's worth it to pay BeamNG on your Mac computer, or if you just wanna try it out or whatever. But either way, click this, it'll download onto your computer. So once you download Crossover, uh, it'll pop up in your downloads and you can drag it onto your desktop and install it by double clicking and it'll open up and once it's on your computer you can I'm just using the free trial right now so once you get it I've already got steam with this but basically you can download steam with while running crossover and that'll get the PC kind of version and then you can get BeamNG drive with it and it installs and downloads just like on a PC, pretty pretty simple. Once you have BeamNG installed, it'll appear in your Steam account and you'll be ready to play. I've put over around, actually right around 20 hours into the game already, so I'm not experienced, but I know the basics. So then it'll just give you this little screen to launch the game. Now there are some performance issues that I'll talk about in just a bit. So it does open up just fine. And the problems start when you go to get into a map. So some of these maps work flawlessly. They work just as intended. And I've discovered that those maps include automotive test track, cliff map, grid small, and the grid map V2. All the others are bugged. And let me show you what I mean by bugged. So first off, let's just go to Utah for an example. So we'll just go to the highway, spawn in. The first thing you'll notice is it'll take, oh, about three minutes. I'm not joking. About three minutes or more even to open this up, to open up your map. So it takes forever to load. And that's just the beginning of the problems. Okay, once you've finally spawned in, things look fairly normal at first, but things are very not normal. The textures are somehow loaded in very wrong, so everything's kind of black, and then when you look backwards, everything turns blue, so that's just weird. I mean, the map's usable, but it looks terrible. I mean, it gives you the, 
the default D series. And so right now I think I'm on either normal or high graphics, so it's not a graphics problem of like me being on the lowest graphics or anything. But so the textures seem to load in incorrectly. And this it does it, it this happens for all the maps except for the ones I pointed out a little earlier in the video. So that's odd. And then the next problem comes when you try to spawn up traffic. Now this one should be pretty self-explanatory of why it does this. If you go to AI traffic and you spawn in uh, some traffic, normal, let's say, it takes a while to spawn it up. Okay, so once it's spawned up, it gets very, very laggy, very frame ratey. You can see extremely choppy and just almost unplayable, pretty much. So, traffic's pretty much out. You can't do that. It's just way too laggy, unless you can, unless you like playing like this. But now let's talk about what works. So as I mentioned before, some of these maps work, like this one. And so I'll, I'll go to this one, because it actually works pretty much perfectly. You still can't spawn up traffic though because it still gets too laggy. But you can do pretty much everything else. So as you can see, it's probably still a little frame ready, like this is not running very well. But it's totally playable. You can do everything. It works just fine. And even when you crash, it doesn't do too, too bad. So yeah, we're able to play BeamNG now on Mac with this, albeit with the caveats that I explained earlier. And so hopefully, if any of you that are smarter than me can figure out a way to mitigate some of these problems, like the texture loading in, I know that the, the lag is just associated with having a computer that's not designed for the game and having having to run all these programs to optimize and make it runnable but if if you know how to fix some of these problems let me know in the comments i'd be very interested to hear i think i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll, I'll probably be making some more videos in the future on bmg drive now that i finally have it thank you for watching i'll see you next time